Hey guys, this is Jeremy with yet another video. I hope you're enjoying it. Guys, in this video, I will actually show you how to set up your steering wheel on GTA 5. So GTA 5 by default, you know, it doesn't actually support steering wheel. But if you have steering wheel, you might be wondering how to how to use your steering wheel. It's absolutely awesome to drive around the city uh, using steering wheel. Then you must enjoy it, right? So of course, for this, you gotta mod uh, your GTA 5. So uh, once you update, sometimes you'll have to do it over again. So anyway, I'll show you how to do that. So first thing, what you needed is two scripts. That's one is uh, the manual transmission uh, five. That's the latest version, and it actually works on both Epic version of the GTA five and the Steam version of the GTA five. So this is the latest version, manual transmission five. The next one is the script hook V plus native trainer. So the script hook we actually enables uh, other scripts to load, uh, you know, on GTA 5. That's why we need to install this. So sometimes you'll have to install this one as well. No, not this one, actually. Uh, this .NET framework. But if you are running latest Windows uh, on your PC, then you don't have to do it because it must have this uh, .NET framework. So you don't need to install it actually. But in case if it doesn't work sometimes you'll have to try uh, installing these scripts as well. So then you need to find where you have actually installed your GTA 5. So in my case that's that's in multimedia epic games. So if your GTA 5 is on epic games then in that case it should be in the epic games folder in the program folder or if you have if you have it installed on C drive and if you have it installed on other drive you know where you have installed it but by default it's in the program and epic games folder then if you're on steam you can actually finding um, the installation folder is pretty easy all you needed to do is just go to the library and select the game that you want to uh, find the installation folder then click properties then here go to the local files then browse local files and it will take you to the that particular folder that you have installed the game so that's how you do that then after that download this script hook v uh, sorry manual transmission and the script hook v the latest version then then go to the folder that you have installed downloaded the manual transmission to then and the script hook v then i have two version here for dot eight this is a previous version i don't need it so this is the latest version then just copy these three files including this one folder manual transmission and dismemberment si.si and gears.si and just copy this and paste it in the gts root folder that's it then I'm gonna replace it because I've already installed one version, the previous version, so that's why it's actually asked me to replace it. Then after that, uh, install the script hook V. So install the latest version of the script hook V. The latest version is this one, so 20601. So that's what I have here. So 20601, just double tap, then go to the bin folder and copy these three files and paste it in the root folder of the GTA 5 uh, installation folder. That's it. That's it. So you're almost ready. Then launch GTA 5 uh, to and to uh, access the manual transmission settings panel on GTA 5. Then hit this left curly braces key on your keyboard. Then uh, press break all the way down and leave it. 
and now here you can see that. So next is uh, Fletch. So enter and press your Fletch. That will leave it. And here you can see that now uh, it has detected your Fletch. And configure steering wheel. Click enter and steer right and just your axis to right. Steer all the way right to the lock and leave it. Now he knows that. Okay, here we can see that. So that's, it. so that's how it works. Go to button input setup. This is where you set uh, some other options, in, especially if you're using Logitech. And you have several buttons on your wheel, so you can actually use this to set things up. So, and here you can use this shift up and shift down so just click enter then shift down see shift down and that's the next one shift down the other one we are actually uh, setting the paddle shifter here so this is the shift down so and the same uh, clutch button I don't want to draw the button it's in gray same pinching, same toggle, change shift mode. I don't want to do that. Same handbrake here. I need to set a handbrake because I don't have hand gear. So I'm going to set it, uh, set it to a button that uh, that's on my wheel. So click enter and now it's a handbrake. Then same on. Yes, of course. I need an on here. I have to send it. So I'm going to set it like. This is L3 button. L3. Hear that? So, next is light. It's okay. Uh, look back. So, okay, I want to set this. Just click enter. And this one look back. So, here you can see that. Uh, yeah. so look left. Enter. Uh, for this, I'm actually using this left and right up and down control so just click left so click left see that next right right and change camera i can change camera using one of these buttons so For handbrake, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change the handbrake because I think I actually send the wrong key. So it's a handbrake. Okay, no problem. So next key is gonna change camera radio. I don't want it. Indicate yes. Next is indicator. So I can enter L2. Then up next you get the right. On to so you can actually as in uh, all these buttons that you have on your Logitech G29 to the options you have here if you want to that's how it works so and up next is you can set edge pattern shift to setup so for that click select it then click enter and shift into reverse first so I have shifter here so Logitech a shifter so just I'm gonna push it down. That's the reverse. Then shift into first gear. Then first. Then second. Then third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. So that's the last gear. Okay. Then play. Just skip here. Skip. That's it. So here you can see that for fifth. Here you can also change uh, how you want to use the shifter. If you want to use the paddle shifter or this uh, edge pattern shifter, so it's up to you. You can use any of these options. So if you want to set the shifter for automatic uh, cars, you can do that as well. Shifter setup uh, for automatic.
So, and you, you can actually set it to the sequential or uh, to the hash pattern gear or mod pattern. So, for that, choose this gearbox. So, just access the steering wheel minimum, then. Uh, go to this choose this select this gearbox and here you can actually change its option like you know edge pattern so or uh, edge pattern sequential or automatic so that's how it works I'm going with the sequential because that's much easier you know that's much easier to use so let's do it so it's almost ready I can actually drive around in this game whenever you know I'm in a car I can actually use my steering wheel it feels a lot like you are driving in a real life. And first feedback, first feedback on this game uh, with the steering wheel, steering wheel is pretty decent with this mod enabled. So I'm using the latest manual transmission version five. I need to change some options here. So you do that i hope this helps guys don't forget to the like and subscribe and thanks for watching